Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we're back to LEGO City Underground. Let's continue. So, we're doing about two levels each time. The next level we need to go to is Chan's Scrapyard. So let's hop into that. Um, special assignment Where's my backup? 7, I believe. Yep. This is the Arnold Schwarzenegger mission, I believe. So... We're gonna hear all of those terrible puns again. And this is probably like the first one that's a little bit more of a complete level where where there is gonna be a No, this isn't the Arnold Schwarzenegger level, is it? I guess the um, softly softly there's two levels here. You ready, Studsky? I was born ready. Like up ready until to to the previous level really kind of felt like it to get felt like it could have been a what? Um, He's not gonna try to bribe her, Studsky. No, I mean I get really bad headaches from ice cream. I tell you anything if you threaten me with it. Especially mint chocolate. Let's see. Right. Or they could make her drink loads of soda pop and she'd get trapped with So this one's a weird her. level because it's the only level where you have characters that are are following you. You have two extra characters which kind of goes to show that I need to get that gate open. A couple more kings of fuel. It's weird to be playing as as the female love interest and hearing Chase's voice. But it, it makes sense too. You can't really have the uh, can't really have a male. Well, no, you totally could have. You, you totally could have had a male and female voice character and double up on the lines. That would potentially be more interesting than what they did, um, which was have a bunch of incidental. Lines of dialogue. Right, let's get in this and collect that. Let's see. I wish there was a way to pull out the scanner and not have to start the whole investigation stuff. But I guess maybe there is. Something to that. What is this? Hmm. Doesn't look like there's anything more in this section. So let's Whoa, that was close. take a look here. Remember, scrapyards are dangerous places which shouldn't hmm. be played in. You hear me? Good luck, We've never had a Lego Good game. Luck. We've never had a LEGO game speak to the audience directly, as far as I recall. I just fall to my death, I suppose. Ooh! I, for a second there, I thought I'd just beaten the whole level, and I'm like, oh no, Oof, that would have been a mistake. far can one get from this apparently that far well that's a subtle arrow uh, all right. hmm. where should I go next Jeez. Hmm. Oh. how much fridge space do you need Gotta break this brick. <laughs> kind of running out of things to even say. It's like... As we're trying to get through all of this. It's interesting that I could grab the, the pieces and build it. Oh, I just activated a second piece of dynamite. Because of a glitch. Um, I'm not sure he's the kind of dog that likes being that just blew up. Alright. 
Where's Rex Fury? Alright. Wanna make sure I get everything. One of the incidental bits of sound that is happening is I'm hearing what sounds like a kid just scream. Um, I'm fairly certain that is not happening outside of my house at the moment. Considering it's, as of this recording, like late in the evening. Also the line, I just heard it again, it wouldn't sound exactly the same every time. go. Let's get in the scan mode and see. We have a super brick here. Build. I've probably got enough bricks to use that super build now. So I can do that. There's a super brick in there. And that, that's what the, these levels are proving to be pains in the butt because they are Here, doggy, doggy. They're ways to force you back into playing the same level a second time even if you are using the scanning. Yeah, the, the more I think about it though, I think there there is probably a good argument that the scanning mode in this is a little bit better than the, the marker mode. Uh, both kind of have problems though. Like ne neither one of them work well. Um, I kind of wish both were enabled uh, by default and then you would have a really nice combination of systems for both tastes. Um, because I would like to just be in this area and know either there's no collectibles to get or know that there actually are some collectibles to get and I've missed them. Um, but having to go into scanning mode becomes a problem. We haven't done this, and I think this is gonna shoot us. Alright. That's interesting. Still not sure what that is for, but whatever. Hmm. Takes them a long time to grind up all the cars. Hmm. Alright. There's a super brick over here. Is it really worth the effort though? Because you gotta come all the way over here and like jump off the edge and then do this and then twist that to move the plug and then shoot that to turn on a pump to pump out the air, yeah. That's a lot of steps. It's more steps than you do for basically anything else. And had I not collected all those things the first time... So it, it really kind of boils down to this idea Interesting, the map shows a section over here, but you, you can't really access that section. Uh, it's, it's just they needed that section to exist, so it's on the map. Alright. Alright, we need to go in the scan mode. I keep going in the wrong thing. If this is the only thing, then let's not build that because I don't even have to build it. And then now give me the bricks extra. See, I can just fly up here, climb on this wall, and go through the next section. So, is Natalia ticklish? What? Is she ticklish? 
Once I got tickled so badly by a mugger that I told him the security code for my bank card. You told me he threatened you. Yeah, with more tickling. So you're really ticklish, are you? Don't even think about it, Clutch. You already know my security code anyway. You still haven't changed it from your birthday? <laughs> Duh, yeah, to my twin sisters. So let's look around here and see if we've collected everything. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff in this final area. So yeah, the it seems kind of obvious here that there's a this is one of the first levels where each of the characters abilities and functions are are going to be required to get everything and I, with the exception of the farmer which maybe you would have had a farmer at this point the story goes in such weird ways I, I can't even remember um, I, I feel, I'm fairly certain we got the farmer after, uh, before we got the spacesuit. So did we not get a spacesuit when we robbed the... Maybe we didn't the first time we were at this, the space place. Not bad. Hmm. I'm normally afraid of changing my car's oil. Maybe I can use those cars as platforms? <laughs> Definitely want to get this purple. So, yeah. I don't know what I would have needed to get over there. It's nice we can pretty much ignore everybody. Ooh. Have to be a little careful. Alright, we needed to jump up here. And then jump on this and this and this and this and this and I don't think I want to do that yet because I'm kind of thinking that that's the end of this level all right so let's go back into scan mode is everything just further along in this next section or is there is something here is there something way over here nope that's nothing um, let's see what that is Icon added to the map. Are there any fires? Yes, there is a fire here. I put out two of six. This is all silverish. That doesn't really make sense. So we have something silverish here that we can't blow up. So how how would it get blown up? Well, I'm gonna go over here and blow this up first, and we'll see what happens there. Hmm. The teleporter built out of scrap. Hmm. If I come out the other end as a fly, I will not be happy. <sighs> I 
Where are we? Scan wise. Are we supposed to break these? Alright, well, I think I may have everything. Maybe not. Let's see. This will definitely stink if we end up having to run back or oh, if we yeah. can't even More bad guys. have to start all well, over again. At least my head is not backwards or anything. Hmm. 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 It's kind of funny how sci-fi has made made this idea and shown this concept of being afraid of teleportation a technology that does not exist and by all likelihood would not exist for anyone's current lifetime I, I know we got construction worker last so it is possible maybe we didn't even have firemen it really wouldn't make sense that I wouldn't have been able to break this down the first time I played the level. So I must have not had fireman or uh, construction worker. Alright, we've got gear. Where does this gear go? Over here. On some kind of catapult that I guess I need to use on the foreground of it. Yeah. Let's see what this does. It blows up that silver thing. Well, if you were gonna do something like that, it really shouldn't have been silver. It should have been uh, instead just a um, solid piece that, that gave no indication whatsoever it was going to be destroyable. Hmm. Can I hit this without getting over there? It would be safer for me to be in this area. They really don't want me in that area. I have to be careful not to hit Y because I think that finishes the level. like there's come on if I can get that purple that would be nice yes with any luck we'll be at four million uh, by the end of the next couple of recordings uh, four billion I mean and then we won't have any uh, and you need to go any further and we'll start unlocking characters and vehicles because let's face it it's boring to say the least um, but even if you were going to play these levels a second time you are still running into a just kind of mental disconnect here um, the if you think about it, there's 300 plus minifig characters 
in between each run and each uh, level, each time you play a level, you would be potentially selecting at most eight new characters. There's 15 levels if you played them twice, you're still not getting to um, the amount of minifigs are, that are available. Uh, you'd have to play the levels significantly more often than twice, three, four times, with all new characters each time. Alright, so do we have everything here? Um, looks like the answer is yes. So let's let's see if we can cheat our way up here and hit Y. I just need to find the button to lower you gently. And then in the game, in the level. And then oh, while yeah. this is playing that and I can't skip it. this, I'll just look at the next level, which is at the Uptown Museum. <sighs> he made me eat ice cream. Hold it. There we go. Super safe crack. Slightly useful, certainly. No longer will we have to waste our time with that. But honestly, the the deployment of the red bricks are totally in the wrong place. The red bricks should be in the open world only. There probably should be a lot less of them. Um, that way you play through the game the way the game is intended to be played without any of the red bricks enabled then you run around the open world and you get all the red bricks and it makes the game work for you a lot easier and better uh, or even if you want for the smaller collection of people that would want to to just cheat their way uh, through everything in the first play th playthrough uh, you would probably just make it so that in the first level you could exit to the city then run around and get all the gold bricks or put in codes if you want to do that I like the fact that this does have co codes still this is the next level just want to double check um, how much do we have? Like, we have 300 and th 300 million left to go. Uh, but yeah, this is what I'm talking about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight exactly styles of people that you could unlock a new person each time you play a level if you wanted to in two playthroughs that would be 30 levels um that's still only about 240 levels uh not not the 306 that 240 maybe even 260 people that you would play as uh, but that's not a realistic experience for most people because most people uh aren't going to either have the money or the interest. Somebody's calling me. Guess we have to listen to it. I just called Sheriff Huckleberry, and he told me that he hasn't seen you in hours. Where are you? The lead came up, Chief, and I think it points straight to Rex. So, not only have you ignored my orders, you're probably about to take something expensive again. Are you sure this is connected with Fury? Yes. Vinny's asked me to get the museum's robotic Tyrannosaurus Rex for someone. It can't just be a coincidence. That does sound like Fury's style. All right, I'll let you follow this one, McCain. But if it doesn't lead to Fury, then that T-Rex won't be the only extinct thing around here. Uh, now, he is actually right that Rex Fury is the one that, that stole the T-Rex, or wanted the T-Rex. Although... In only kind of, kind of in part because it, it's still Blackwell that that was ordering it. All right, I need to do a scan. Right. Is there 
anything to collect down here. There's a super brick. So we'll have to deal with that. Notice how it curves so it doesn't hit you. Hmm. Crashes. I can't believe I almost got ran over in a museum. These background areas not destructible. Okay. Build that. Take this. Pick up this. Blow this up. The, the layout of these missions are terrible. I would prefer just on the side of a map in the overworld. Why not simply have a uh, indicator that that was just a list of all of the levels. Like just on the side or you press a button and it pops up all the levels in a numerical order. Doesn't have to be super pretty or anything, just the simple basic stuff. Alright. I can get another one of these. Hmm. Oh, so if you try to get a second, second bomb it will always blow up those? Interesting. Where's the rest of this going? Super brick there. Everything else seems to be in the next floor. have to beat these guys to unlock something or did I just miss something? Hmm. Man, missed all of those studs. Right. So, if I can Nudge up against the door and then do that. I can get up there. And then we wouldn't have a farmer here to have done this before. And we wouldn't have had the repairman here to do this before. Suppose you can't get rid of the minifigs in a game like this. Like you could have a contextual setup where every item has like a dome of influence so when you walk near this circle it pulls out your color gun. When you walk near this uh, it pulls out your crowbar. That That's doable, certainly. Uh, but unless it was swapping between the different minifigs that have those abilities which is also totally doable uh, it wouldn't really feel like a lego game at that point like, you, you can't we can't really lose studs and legos uh, otherwise it's not really a lego game let's see this oil derrick is over a hundred years old oil derricks are named after their inventor John Boyle. Let's see. So, 
Yeah. Squash that into a key. Via what I assume is some kind of mold. Still not really sure how I was supposed to get this going. Ah. Was there another platform over here? No. Alright, so now I remember. It was a nice, very Lego-y design for this game in particular, considering how nearly everything in this is not very Lego-y. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be careful. And... The one red brick we don't have is run faster. That would be kind of hard for some kids, I imagine, to just have the controller, the, guy, the guys moving faster. Um, the dinosaur okay. exhibit? Great. The T Rex is bound to be in there. Have to construct something. I've probably here. got enough bricks to use that super build now. Let's just go ahead and build this so we. Get rid of it. Hmm. I doubt there was anything I just missed. Because I activated that at the wrong time. Let's see. One of five T-Rex posters. So you have to be kind of off the wall and you kind of have to target them holding down the X button, which doesn't always want to really target something. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, we, we already actually have contextual abilities in the game. We only pull out the gun when there's nothing in front of us. Otherwise, we swing our fists. Hmm. Right. This. There's still several more things. Was there perhaps a T Rex poster on the ground down this way? Could that have been what's going on? Yeah, there's a T-Rex poster hidden in an incredibly difficult position. Really goes to say is how, how much this game is kind of just done the same things over and over again. Lego games in general have just done the same things over and over again. I, that, that I've become this expert in, in oh, this will glitch, this won't work. Uh, we can jump over this part. Although I really like that too because it, it has a feeling like the Talos Principle where that starts off as a game that really just feels like you're supposed to follow the rules and solve the puzzles and frankly by the time you're done you you've kind of realized oh no this game is totally designed to be cheated and and you can jump over walls and you can either take it as a a marvel of genius design of hiding something obvious in front of people or you could take it as it's an incredibly bait buggy game that uh, uh, is just 
allows for a lot of cheating. Alright. Now. What does that leave me? That removed everything except for this. So we gotta go figure out what this is. And we're not going in through there. It's a silver thing. How can we destroy a silver thing? Probably with this cannon. How can we activate the cannon? Hmm. Hmm. How would we activate a cannon from below? here these don't seem like they do anything okay Let we pull that up so what happens if we use these this lever a third time a lot of these feel like they're they're Lego sets I don't know if they really are. Like, I've seen pirate ships for sure, but I don't know. If this is the pirate ship. Let's see. Oh, you just have to stand behind it. Easy enough. Alright, so then that leaves us with just this one piece and nothing else so we can take care of that and I don't think that there's a wall or anything stopping me, is there? Yep, there is. So, we would have needed a color gun. That's it. And then there's checkpoints into this area, and I definitely know there's a ton of stuff in this area we didn't collect. Uh, this is totally a point where where it becomes rather obvious that the the, the game is telling you we'll get back to this later. You can't get in here. A lot of stuttering. Well, that certainly is the T-Rex. is impenetrable we can just jump in here and we should just start scanning things there's not as much as I thought there would be okay why is this alive that doesn't make sense this statue is not even showing up on the scan but the other one is is alive can't run under the legs hmm. where does this go press B to teleport it's not working hmm which tells me the teleport's not built and that isn't a t-rex either hmm. oh yes this is an alive thing okay well before we waste any extra time let's just see if we can collect everything 
some of these characters like the caveman the mummy the, they really do only make a bit of an appearance where they really shine in lego worlds or maybe lego dimensions uh, because they're, they're really just not gonna make sense in any other game Is there anything in that center place? Doesn't seem like it. Seems like that was unnecessary. That T -Rex now. All right. Come on, game. It's taking its sweet time. All right. There's gotta be something here hmm. Hmm. I suppose it's I found a lot actually of hmm. maybe there's something I can build around here I suppose it, maybe it's a better idea to try and get all of the guys to follow me and oh, chase me nice and safe in here. Thanks. Hmm. Okay, that teleports me in here, and then I break that, and then we've got a pterodactyl to tear down. Hey, I can use them to build a T-Rex. That is lucky. So the pterodactyl thing crashes into the glass okay that's kind of cool where does this go now that there's broken glass it all it kind of feels weird to have uh, broken glass in a Lego game it feels like that should have just broken in the studs isn't that kind of the idea that they they go with is that all the Lego pieces uh, everything is made out of Lego studs hmm. this dinosaur evolved Back extensive armor plating on its head either because it was preyed upon by other dinosaurs or because it was yeah I have no interest in actually listening to all of this though it's just too much of it uh, they should have probably broken up the museum exhibit stuff where honestly this feels like this might have been a demo level like because it would have been in the middle of the game it, you would have been able to have all of your abilities um, but you can hop and pop all you like, Mr. Wolf. Maybe what you do is you break a museum into a zoo and an aquarium. Like get get all three of those as a possibility and then then you don't have as much just scripted dialogue for no reason. It also gives you the opportunity to have all three of those things. I feel like Lego Batman 2 did have a zoo. Can I smell I, And some kind of aquarium level inside the zoo. Um, you really do beat up more bad guys than you do. Uh, you beat up more good guys than you do bad guys in this game. Hmm. And so with that, we've unlocked all the windows. And this is my opportunity to to get to all of the breaks and double my 
brick count. There's so much just getting hidden there. Is there no? It looked like there was a. Maybe that's a window. Let's scan here. So where are we going? We got a thing here and that is that this guy is still alive and that was your hint I guess still don't know what the deal with this is though so we'll see see if maybe I can figure this out I wish everybody could just have super strength. That would eliminate the need of Rex. Or swapping the Rex. There you go. Alright. So, there's a red brick. That took three three things to do and that's about the right amount right. now we have super safe cracking so this should just work immediately yeah no no more mini game no more hassle it is just done Jump down the stairs. Jump down this side. It won't let me. Jump. 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 Went the wrong direction because the guy told me the wrong thing. Ah. <sighs> This is way too far to have to carry a box. Way, way too far. Hmm. Alright. Well, this is happening. Well, build. Let's see. Gotta get that B prompt. First, what does this do? I hope this mummy's tomb isn't cursed. Right, so it wants an onk and a beetle. Hmm. And he only goes in one direction, so. That's one, but take note that these aren't really showing the red bricks or, or the super bricks. So my decision to try and get these is kind of limited. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look like there's anything that can be done here. All right, and is this randomized? That's wrong. All right, so first thing you would have wanted to do is press press the button on all of them. And just spin until it's where it wants to be. Hmm. Let's see. I don't think any of those are right. The, the middle faces are blue or brown. The tops are purple and something else. So, 
believe that's right. Nope. Uh, I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right. That's not quite right. That's not quite right. It's really just seems randomized. Unless there's some bit of something here that I'm not getting. Uh, that might be the case. Everything except for the middle section. The Native American stereotype here in this one display, I guess, is as much as they could do. But with, but even at this, it's it is pretty pretty stereotypical here. And see, the funny thing here is if you're having people going undercover and drawing gangs and mobs, I think the, the Native American uh, casino syndicate is probably a good good per type group to, to highlight for mob-like activity. Um, But I think what you would have needed is a lot of subverting stereotypes uh, in the writing. So uh, you have Chase meet up with the Native American mob boss, and he goes, "Oh, you're you're Native American, or you're," uh, and then do uh, put on the headdress and. Um, and look stereotypical like that and then uh, with the mob boss looking away from Chase he, he goes into a speech about how uh, everybody stereotypes them and and and, uh, and treats them like they're uncivilized even in modern time I guess I cannot put out the fire um, and then you'd have Chase. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Chase remove the headdress before uh. he gets caught. Jeez, it doesn't seem like it wants to break. I'm just gonna tap B. Hey, a I while. just reinvented the wheel. All right. And then this is like Robin Hood. This is a a best sens sensationalized story. So this museum is awkwardly inaccurate in the first place. Yes, it's showing bullseye. cavemen, which you could chalk up to speculation at best um, amongst dinosaur skeletons which I think most sane people would agree existed and Native Americans that we totally know existed um, is there anything here like, it sure feels like there's something should have been here it isn't. Alright, well, let's do a scan and just make sure we got everything. Hmm. Yeah, Egyptian mummification, like, that's. Yeah. There, there's a weird disconnect here. 
Yeah, which again comes from I think a stereotypical idea and concept here of just what do, what does a museum look like in the mind of a child uh, instead of what does a museum really look like in the real world? Like, what did we unlock? Super break and enter, so no longer will we need to use the crowbar to break into places. Uh, the only thing we don't have that I'd really like to have, I should have checked to make sure I had everything, by the way, before I, I left the level. Um, the only thing I'm missing is stud magnet, and I'm not sure we're going to get that at all. Probably wouldn't be a big problem one way or the other, though, if we don't get it, because we should be fine now. We should be at 4 billion, over 4 billion studs. Yep, over 4 billion. And then if we look at this map and then we hit this info, we did collect everything in that level. So. Yeah. Yeah, if you're gonna have a museum of science, you would have some historical science and some of that in one area. And then uh, dinosaur bones in a different area and other things in different areas. I'm trying to see if I can find a character replacement. Disguise booth? Is there not a disguise booth around here? I kind of felt like there was. Well, let's see, what would be the easiest way to do this then? Guess it would be just to return to the police station. Let's just go to the police station and, um, and will this put us outside the police station or inside the police station? I think it will put us outside of the police station, but it says it's loading special assignment back to school. So they put us in the police station, which is really silly. All right. So we are at 40.5% right now. We're gonna see if we can make that number jump up like crazy. Um, so what we want to do is go in here and let's see what's in the briefing room. Because what it feels like isn't supposed to be in the briefing room is a way to rewatch cutscenes. But as far as I can tell, there's no way to rewatch these cutscenes. Like, there's like no B button prompt happening. Here, 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 here. So, even as Chase. I, I don't see anything. We have this projection, and the projector doesn't show anything. And it doesn't look like there's anything behind the screen. So either this section is just not fit, it's just like broken in some fundamental crazy way or something happens here at the very end of the game. There, there would be some kind of prompt. There would be something. Maybe this gives you some bricks? 
Like, you can't even shoot the popcorn stuff. Nothing to shoot at at all. It's so weird. So, so weird. Alright, well, let's move on. I guess we'll come back to that at some point in the future. Okay. So over here, we have the cars, and we'll just start purchasing things. The odds are pretty much zero that I will ever drive all of these vehicles, and it's, there's really not worth it to, to show off all of these vehicles. Like th this one's probably particularly unique because it's uh, so big, and that's kind of it. Hmm. And none of these are particularly special. So that's 12 of 21 now unlocked. Hmm. I kind of wish they would have the characters the the model in the middle of the screen and then just a long bar at the bottom that goes in circles um, or that there'd be some way to just go in full screen and look at the car uh, because if kids are into the cars this is not going to be enough um, So we're just purchasing every car that we've got and then that'll leave us in a good position particularly if there's like a collection perhaps of things that aren't actually unlocked in the open world because I hadn't purchased enough cars so I might be triggering some more races uh, or other kinds of car missions. That looks like a monster truck. All right. And I guess anything with a exclamation point on it, it means it's new and I've just never even looked at it or hovered over it. Hmm. So that's a good indicator. This is the car I need to ride as Rex Fury to get an achievement. So I'll have to remind myself it's under bikes. And then helicopter wise, there's probably a slightly smaller helicopter than the default helicopter, which seems to be too big and crash into things. I don't think interesting a jetpack. I don't think we're going to be unlocking Liberty Island because of that. But let's take a moment and see we are now at 44% where we were at even 40% before. So Residence, we have Disguise Natalie, Barry Smith, we should have been Agent Morpheus or something like that. The doctor Conrad Peters, I have no idea who that is. Luke Cashmore, no idea. Sarah Horner. Are these characters from 
some Lego cartoon. There was never a Lego City Underground cartoon as far as I can tell, so I don't know if maybe these are secondary characters to maybe a Lego uh, Star Wars cartoon. A lot of those probably came out after this though also. So seems like this is just names for names. Like Studski makes sense. But a lot of these other characters don't. And I have this sneaky suspicion that a lot of these minifigs showed up in Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Um, that looks like something that would have been in Lego Batman 2 also. Hmm. Officer Park. We don't see... The, the male to female ratio here is pretty bad. Um, Ranger Barber. I, you, you've got some female minifigs, but none of them are really important characters. And they're still still running about 80-20% in comparison. I wonder how many clown outfits there'd be. Hmm. I guess... What is this? Sentinel Trinard, Sentinel Decker, Punk, Sentinel, Vitus Tinkleman, Spiky Dawn. Yeah, it seems like a lot of these are just made up names. Carlo Cohn, Lucky Pete, he, he was in a cutscene. Hachin. Prisoner, no name. Snake Squealer. Blue Whitaker. Warden Stonewall is labeled as a uh, criminal. But I don't think they ever arrested him or caught him. Gangster. Hot Tub Harry. Alright. Let's move over to miners. We don't have any miners to unlock at all. Space scientist. The, this is really all the time you're going to ever spend on this, and the only reason you're even doing any of this is boy, Bradford Chubbery looks a lot like space scientist. Just a different uh, clothing, I suppose. I don't think we ever fought that guy. Uh, yeah, the only reason you, you do this is because you want to get 100% and, and you're never really going to play with these minifigs. And so there's a wasted effort, clearly. Uh, I think Ramon Lopez Delgado, um, despite the stereotypical long uh, hyphenated name, uh, would be a good character to to make like a Lego City Fireman or Lego City Rescue uh, type uh, game. Yeah. If, if they had split this between one third of the levels are playing as one character who's a police officer and one third of the levels are playing as a um, firefighter and one third's a paramedic uh, EMS character you could have you could have the stories jumping around a little bit more um, is a lifeguard that's, that's weird. I don't think I've ever seen a bikini drawn on the legs of a minifig before. Hmm. I don't think they would, Lego would do that because that doesn't really look very good and really wouldn't work. I think if they were going to do a bikini, they would just do the hinge piece of their torso as red and leave the legs yellow. That would also be easier for them. I'd have to go 
I'd have to check though. Maybe they do make the beginning character that way. Sumo wrestler. Uh, yeah, the sumo wrestler in comparison is basically wearing a bikini also, and they just make his hinge piece of his torso uh, black. Why we have two groups of special characters, I don't know. They, I guess they just decided it needed to be split up. These characters, by the way, don't even get named. So, that's interesting that they, they spent some time writing names of characters. And then, these are just more generic things. I have this minifig. Or something very similar to it. Here's a boxer guy. Look how how big his torso seems compared to all the other characters. Maybe that's an optical illusion, but it feels like they made the torso slightly bigger. Here's the Minotaur. Probably one of the weirdest ones. Yeah, if you're gonna have a Lego game where it was Lego City and it was firefighters, EMS, and uh, police, the story would eventually need to come together and and have some kind of connecting plot line where the, all three of the characters are in the same level working together to save the day. But you could easily. Um, have the EMS show up after the police have like a a firefighter or, or get shot at or get blown up uh, so like have a police level that ends with a big firefight and then have the EMS show up or have the fire fire department show up after the police uh, end up in a building that's a set ablaze so we still got a considerable amount of characters that need to be unlocked. But where does that put us now? We are now at 51% complete. And if we jump over here, the question it, I guess comes down to, do I need to like you can't buy any of these red bricks you can only just enable them hmm. so some of these are checked off probably because they're the most recent ones hmm. when I hit a the check marks disappear so am I disabling it So what did that really do? Let's see. Let's see. It seems like it did turn off some of that stuff. Hmm. So we need to come back and see what else. Super ray gun, super throw, super fast travel. Collect sat navs, attract bricks. See, attract studs is the one thing I'm missing. And I don't think you can turn those off. Yeah, you can. So we are at 165 gold bricks. I don't think I want to buy the gold bricks right now. I could do it, sure. But. I don't think that's going to change anything. Uh, seriously. Let me down. Let's see. Yeah, we're already over 150, so if it, if it were 200 or 250 or, or 225, which would be the halfway point for gold bricks, that was required to unlock Liberty Island, then that would be kind of it. 
All right, well, good progress. We still have, I suppose, about seven levels that we need to rush through and just get everything out of them. After we've gotten everything out of the, the levels, there's nothing to do but the open, open world stuff. Uh, let's go back to the extras and just make sure everything that should be on is on. Let's see. Hmm. We could turn costumes on and we could see if that now unlocks a bunch of other things. Do we have instant vehicles on? Yeah. Everything's on. So let's just take a look. That's it, I'm done. Seems to me like the costume ability still really only keeps people in clown suits and dinosaur suits and a few other things. It doesn't seem like that drastically changed people to make them want to wear or be the characters that we just unlocked. If I come over and turn costumes off again and we'll just give it a second while that is happening to run out here so still have to tap B to, to unlock these but not too bad And we're still over four billion. Hmm. All right, let's come back over here and just pull up our camera. Firemen, people, firemen. Hmm. There might just be a little bit more variety here. Or it might be that I've just not bothered to look look at look at the people on the street by very much. I wouldn't be surprised if I just haven't really been paying attention to the variety, particularly in this area. It feels like certain uh, characters in particular are maybe unique to certain areas. So this general section of the world might just have some random general people all right well that's going to be it for this recording we have 36 of 39 red bricks which means there's like three more in the levels to collect uh which makes sense we have 112 of 305 characters but those characters are now unlocked um, of course, the idea of playing as the other characters runs into a problem also because if I change the police character to look something completely different than the police character, then I'll not really instinctually know what character I'm on or what abilities they have. I'd have to look in the top left, which I am not paying any attention to, and read it. Um, and that's in the pause menu. Uh, we have 45 of 120 vehicles, all of which are purchased too. And we have 165 of 450, which is weird because then that tells me there's something wrong here with the gold bricks. Uh, we're not getting gold bricks for unlocking characters and we're not getting gold bricks for unlocking uh, vehicles so where are the nearly 300 gold bricks in this game are they just lying around in the open world is are we looking at potentially a 15 hour playthrough alone of just doing the open world stuff or is there something else to it maybe it gives you a hundred gold bricks for no reason that wouldn't make any sense either Ah, 
Anyways, that's it for this recording. I've said that like three times. Thank you. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites, there's a bunch of links down below. And if you want to support me even further, there's a link to Patreon, or you can friend me on Steam and give me a game off my wish list. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.